In this video, we will solve problems on integral mean value theorem. You will have problems like this. All you need to remember is the average value function theorem because they have asked you to compute the average value of the given interval. That's given by this 1 by b minus a integral f of x dx. The limits are from a to b. Now the limits over here given, the initial one is a, b. Same thing over here, a and b. And this is the function. So all you need to do is substitute over here. b is 4 minus a is 0. Integral a is 0 to 4. Function is 2x plus 1 dx. You just put this in the calculator, you get the answer. Same thing over here. You can see that integral x squared plus 2x dx. The interval starts from 0 to 1 and the limit is from 1 minus 0. Just multiply this, you will get the answer. Let's do it in the calculator now. All you do is substitute it as it is. 1 divided by 4 minus 0 will be 4. You can put a multiplication or even if you don't, you will get the correct answer itself. It's better to put the multiplication sign. It's 2x plus 1 from 0 to 4. That is the answer. The answer is 5 here. And uh, just use this formula and direct method. You can see this is the substitution. This is the formula substitution. Uh, you can use other methods, but this is the easiest of all. Now, what about the next one? Same thing, just change it up over here. The limits are from 0 to 1 only. And here we have 2x, that is the 2x plus x squared. I've just written it other way around. It's x squared plus 2x, but you can write it whichever term first. It's fine. You'll get the answer. And don't forget what is being multiplied. This is not 1 by 4. It is 1 by 1 minus 0. That's 1 by 1. The answer is 4 by 3. So this is how you can easily solve these problems up. Please do these two by yourselves and then check for the answers. And what about this one over here? Now in these exercises, we have to find the C value that satisfies the conclusion of the integral mean value theorem. So let's write the formula of integral mean value theorem. It is B minus A, A to B, F of X, DX, right? Now this thing, we will consider it to be F of C, this entire thing. Now let's substitute based on this formula. It is 1 by what is b minus a? It will be 2 minus 0. Integral 0 to 2. f of x is 3x squared dx. This is function of c. Let's take c as just a random uh, term. Now because we'll find this value in a minute. Now here it will be half. And what is this part? Integral of 0 to 2, 3x squared dx is given equal to 8, right? So this becomes 8 equals f of c. So what is f of c? Cancel this and be 4 is equal to f of c. Now we got the function of c equals 4. So now a c value that satisfies the integral mean value theorem would be f of c. That means instead of x just put c over here. That's the thing. Now what we know f of c is 4. This must be satisfied. So take the 3 to the other side. It will be 4 by 3. That is equal to c squared. It is square root plus or minus 4 by 3 is equal to c. This is the value uh, that satisfies the integral mean value theorem. So the answer is over here you can split the square root. It will be what happens over here is it will be plus or minus 2 by square root 3. Because you can 4 square root 4 is 2 right. So that will be the final answer. Okay now I forgot about an important thing. I wrote plus or minus. But can I have negative sign over here? The limit is from 0 to 2. So it's only positive. Okay. Why? Because though that's the answer, C value, we have to take only the positive value because that falls inside the limit uh, interval. Sorry. And now the same thing can be done over here. All you need to do is write, the, write up the formula. It is 1 by, I'll directly substitute the values. 1 by B is 1 minus of minus 1. And integral minus 1 to 1 x squared minus 2x is equal to f of c. And now I will solve this up. It will be minus of minus 2. So it will be half. And what is this value? It is 2 thirds. That will be equal to f of c. So what is f of c? It will be 1 by 3 is equal to function of c, f of c. And now here we have f of c will be equal to from this given equation. 
c square minus 2c. And now we know this is one third that is equal to c squared minus 2c. Let's take this one third to the other side. It'll be 0 equals c squared minus 2c minus one third. Now, how do you solve this? In the formula, mode phi 3. All quadratic equations can be easily solved by mode equation that is phi and 3 is for quadratics. And now substitute the coefficients of c squared is 1. Then we have minus 2 and lastly the constant term is 1 divided by 3. So minus 1 divided by 3. And now the answer is this and this. Now which falls in this limit? Let's just press this ST. This is 2.15. This is no, not the correct answer. It's the second term. So it's only one answer that will fall in the limit. That's from minus 0.15 is within this limit. So that should be the answer. Here they have told plus or minus, but sadly, no, this it's only minus. OK, see the first one is plus, which is 2.15, which is beyond this interval. So not limit interval. And uh, I just, you know, misuse both the words. And over here we have this is the answer. That should be the answer, but sorry for the, I apologize for the mistake here. So that's how we do these problems. That's a very simple one as well. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.